This video is going to show you how to make the most basic C++ program possible. So here I am in Visual Studio. I've already got a blank project set up and I'm ready to start typing my source code. So the first thing I'm going to do is to bring in a library that some programmers already wrote um, by writing this thing called a preprocessor directive, which tells the computer um, before you try to parse my code, go grab this um, and it will let me have some functionality that's already created. Now I means input, O means output, and the stream is the flow of information. So this guy is going to let me send stuff out to the monitor and get stuff in from the keyboard. So I'm generally going to use it in all my programs. Okay, next line is going to look like this using namespace standard. And what it tells um, Visual Studio is that when I write sort of basic commands, I want you to grab them from the standard library. It saves me um, doing this weird looking little designation that you'll see later on in the um, in this class. But for now, I'm going to use that so that my commands can just be written sort of standing there naked. Um, and you'll just have to trust me on what that means for now. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to write is a thing called the main function. And it looks like this main and then some parentheses. I'm going to start some curlies. Main is the starting point for every program. So even if you have 10 million lines before this thing, your program when it runs is going to find it main and it's going to start executing the lines based on what you have written inside there. Um, so what I'm going to do is tell it to print something on the screen because that's a pretty simple thing to do. The command to put something onto the monitor is C out. C is short for console, out is the direction I'm putting it in. Then I need these things called insertion operators. They look like this. They always point in the direction that the information is going. So since I'm sending it out to the monitor, they point at the C out, okay? I wanna put some text on the screen. To just write text out, I have to surround it in quotes and turn it into what's called a string literal. So I'm gonna put some quotation marks and then let's write, uh, don't forget to be awesome. And when I'm done writing my text, I'm going to close my quotes. Now what I've just written is called a statement and all statements in C++ end with a semicolon. Okay. Just like a sentence in English gets terminated with a period, um, a statement in C++ gets terminated with a semicolon. Okay. And then I'm almost done. I just have to, the very last thing in main, write return zero. Basically what that means is when this program is finished, Control is going to return to the operating system, which for me is Windows. And a zero indicates that everything went just as planned and there weren't any problems. Okay, then I'm going to close off my body of my main function. And you'll see my, my little uh, curlies got lit up because it wants them to be paired and it's showing me where the pair is. Now there's a couple things to notice. One is that my code automatically indented for me. When you're programming, it's really important to let those indents be where they should be always between two curly brackets, you indent one level. It makes your code uh, cleaner and easier to read. You'll also notice that I just put blank lines wherever I wanted to space stuff out. You can have as much white space as you want that does not affect your program. Now when I'm ready to try this guy and see if it works, what I'm gonna hit is Control F5 on my keyboard. I'm gonna say yes. It's gonna take a second. It's gonna show you down here it's doing some stuff. And then it's gonna show me the result. So it wrote my DFTBA, don't forget to be awesome. And then um, what I just did was called running without debugging. And it, I did that so that it would hold the console open for me. And it gives me this prompt, press any key to continue. Um, it shoves that right next to your output. Um, we'll see how to fix that later. But what I did is run it with control F5 because if I don't, if I just run this thing and there's this little green button, if I just run it, then my console opens up, but it snaps closed before I can see everything. So when I want to test my programs, um, and see what's actually happening, I'm going to hit Control F5. Later on, when you write programs that actually wait for the user to select the option to quit, this won't be an issue. But for right now, when we're first starting out, um, you'll have to hold them open by doing Control F5. Okay, so that's the basics of a program.